Hey everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video, we have learned how to connect to clients and the house together using WebSockets. But here we are ready to start the WebRTC process and start the video call. So to do that, let's actually uh, add the classes that we are going to need inside my WebRTC package. I'll start with my observers. Uh, the first one is SCP Observer, which is an open class to add the uh, SCP Observer implementation and we will override whatever function that we are going to need. And the next one is Pure Connection Observer. It's also an open class and implements all of the uh, override functions inside this Pure Connection Observer. So the next class which I'll create is going to be the RTC Clients class. It's not an injectable class. It simply wants the application, the observer of type your connection observer, your connection dot observer. And also it will have a function set message to suck it. So it will create a message model just like that. So whenever our artist client is trying to send an SCP or ICE candidate, it's going to use this function and send it to the socket client or socket server, whoever is using this function. I'm not going to write most of the code here. I'll just copy and paste and then explain. At the beginning, we will have our ICE server as an empty ICE server list and our media constraint, which will add the rules of the call here. Next one, we will have our uh, EGL context, and then we will move to our main function of creating of our uh, peer connection factory, initializing peer connection factory, and other stuff like that. So this function is in charge of initializing our peer connection factory. First, we'll create the peer connection options, which we will describe how our field trials would be and then create the initialize options and then pass the peer connection options to this initialize object and then we are good to go. And down below, we will have to create peer connection factory. Just like that, it's going to use the peer connection factory builder and set some video encoders and uh, video decoders and uh, the encoder and decoder and also uh, disable encryption and also other stuff. And some other options for our peer connection that is pretty much necessary for this project. I'm not going to get into the details. And the next function is going to be create our peer connection. So right now we don't have the peer connection factor object. Let's move up here and we will describe our peer connection factory by lazy just like that. And then below that, we'll have our peer connection by lazy and pass the create peer connection and the observer of our constructor of the class. And then we will have two local variables named local video source and local audio source. Just like that. We'll use the peer connection factory and create the video source. And these are also the basics. So whenever we need them, we will use the peer connection factory and create them. And after that, we will have an object of video capture, which is an instance of camera video capture. And in the end, we will have two other variables, local audio track and local video track. So let's go down below and add our rest of the functions, which we are going to need inside this class. So the first one is a function to initialize a uh, surface viewer or the local surface viewer. Right Just like that, use the surface and one set enables hardware scaler and mirror and initialize it. And the next one is start local video. Actually, this function is public. So the next function is start local video. So this function uh, is in charge to start our local street. First, we will initialize the surface view. We will prepare our surface view. Then using a surface texture helper, we will start our texture helper. And using video capture function that I'll add in a second, we will 
get the video capture that initializes it using the context and capture observer then start capturing using this height and width and the thread per second here then we will instantiate our local video track and add sync to the surface this local surface and then add our uh, local audio track and then create the local stream using this create local stream within the peer connection factory class and pass the label of local stream add tracks to it and add the stream to the peer connection this is the thing that we have done a thousand of times so we're ready for it and this function is in charge to open our camera using camera to eliminator and open our camera for now we are opening the front facing if you want to is back facing you will open the back camera as the initial camera so it doesn't matter for now and down below we will have the functions that are related to store the call so let's see what are those so here we will have the function of call we simply tell our peer connection to create an offer we will pass our my CP observer to notify whenever the creation is successful so it returns a description and down below the first thing to do is just simply set it to our local description and if it was successful we will get notified using this by our cp observer listener again and then we want to send this scp to other clients as the offer as you can see we will create a message model the type is going to be offer and the description is going to be description of this stp pretty much simple and straightforward and the next function is going to be answer so it's pretty much the same we'll just create an answer get notified when it's created using uncreate success uh, we will add it to the local description so if we are the colleague not caller <coughs> the answer is going to be created we want to add it to our local description and send it as an answer object just like that so the description is going to be description and for the next function we will have a on remote session receive so whoever is sending a session description we want to add it to our peer connection as the remote description just like that and the next one is the add ice candidates so whenever we see the ice candidates we simply want to add it to our peer connection the next function is on destroy so imagine you press the back button and want to go back to previous so we have to dispose to local video track the audio source and video capture and peer connection so on this way we will just close the camera or microphone and close the connection so we get ready for the next call and the other functions are going to be switch camera use the video capture to switch camera toggle audio and toggle video and end call simply we set enable of the toggle of the video track and audio track to false or true and the end call is going just to simply close the peer connection so this is it for our web rtc clients right now we want to move forward and use it inside the host screen and client screen so till the next video see you everyone